What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Welcome to Claiming Christianity. I wasn't planning on posting a video today, but I want to talk about something just for a minute or two that will hopefully encourage you to be better Christians online. Uh, so I love the comments. For those of you who don't know, uh, leaving comments uh, in the comments section of like a YouTube video or a social media post um, helps like YouTube, the YouTube algorithm put that video in front of other people because it makes the computer think that uh, that people want to see this and want to view this, hitting that thumbs up. That's why those people that you subscribe to and follow ask you to hit that thumbs up. So it puts the video out uh, to get their information out. So I say that to say this. Um, for those of you that are out there commenting or for those of you that are out there like hate commenting, because we all know in social media that there's a lot of just like hate commenters, right? We get the strong... Uh, we get the strong internet muscles and just start ra rambling <laughs> and ranting. Uh, and this happens a whole lot. I'm in a conversation right now on a video that I posted yesterday. I expected to get a little bit of heat for this video because uh, it's the truth and the truth causes controversy. Um, and that's fine. Uh, but I ended up at the, the, you guys can go and read the comments and, and help me out or whatever if, if you want. Um, but I think that it's ironic that, and it brings kind of the message today. If you're going to comment on somebody's video, if you're going to spend time and take effort to do that, now I understand that, that the trolls, because that's the internet term for them, aren't going to do this anyway. But have a reason uh, for your pushback. If you're pushing back uh, or if you're getting into what we'll, we'll call an argument, not an argument fight, scream and fight. Uh, but if you're getting into an argument uh, you know, and you're, and you're trying to push, push your opinions or your agenda forward, have a reason for that. Um, and, and have some, have some foundation for that reason other than just, well, this is what I thought. This is what's on my mind. And this comment thread that I've been going back and forth with this gentleman, uh, this morning on, he won't make a claim. Uh, and what's interesting, and here's the message here, is he's trying to poke holes in my claim on the video that I posted. It's about a 45-minute teaching. Um, he's trying to poke holes in this, but he hasn't watched the video. Uh, he admittedly hasn't watched and will not watch the video. So he's trying to poke holes in a claim that he doesn't even understand. Um, and he also claimed, because again, this is a this happens to be a Christian channel, uh, he, he also claims that scripture is, uh, is unnecessary. We, we don't need scripture. We don't need the Bible kind of thing yet. He's using all these scriptural biblical terms. So the question kind of is simple. Where are you getting your information from? Um, it, so one of the last things that I posted is really just that, Hey, if we want to continue our conversation and, and this is my encouragement to you all, if you want to continue a conversation make a claim and and defend that claim with something with something you read so, you know at, at least give us give us some background or some foundation to why you're making that claim so we can continue the conversation cuz i made my claim you know like it's right there if you're choosing not to watch it and you're you're choosing not to listen to it then it doesn't make sense for us to continue on so Christians, I want to take this opportunity that I've been learning from this morning to say, hey, be careful how involved you get with internet, social media, comments and commentary, because there are no arguments that are really won out there when it comes to um, hooping and hollering at each other on Twitter or, you know, in the comments section. Uh, so be careful what you're saying and be when you do make a claim or when you do uh, push back on somebody about something, uh, maybe they're interested in having a good conversation with you. Have some foundation, uh, ha have some background to what you're posting. If you're doing that in a Christian way, uh, be Christian about it. Be nice about it. Be loving. Uh, but, but again, have a biblical foundation for the claims that you're making. Uh, maybe your conversations will go a whole lot better. Hey, listen, thank you guys for tuning in on this Friday. Have a great weekend. Uh, don't forget, be who you claim to be.